Hi there, welcome to another video on using the Kipper Robot Simulator. Today we'll be going over how to navigate in 3D. To navigate in 3D, there are three different things you need to know how to do. The first of those is spinning the scene. To spin the scene, you left click with the left mouse button and drag. This allows you to change the angle of the scene and get a bunch of different views like overhead, from the side, straight on at the robot, or even just some other angle that helps you see things better. Next, you need to know how to zoom in and out of the scene. Depending on the type of computer you have, there are two different ways to do this. The first way is, if you have a mouse, to use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out of the scene. If you have a touchpad, use two fingers on the touchpad to zoom in and out of the scene. The last thing that you need to know how to do is to pan the view. In order to pan the view, it requires the use of the keyboard and your mouse or touchpad. The first thing you need to do is hold down the control key or the command key if you're using a Mac, and then left click with the left mouse button and drag. This changes the center of the view on the scene. This allows you to say, get in closer to the robot. So if you put your robot in the center of the scene, for example, and then zoom in, you can now actually see the fine details on the robot. Painting of the view lets you even change where the center of the mat is as well in the scene. This allows you to get a much nicer centered view of the scene. That's all you need to know for navigating in 3D in the Kipper Robot Simulator. 